Hey, Motor Man here, and this is part two of what I'm going to be doing with this $1,000 motorcycle. Now, I told you the shocks on the back were the short shocks, plus he had a lower ring kit. But anyway, I'm going to tell you how you could swap brand new shocks from a 2022 onto this motorcycle. This is a 2007. You're wondering, will they fit? Well, I'm going to show you. But if you've got these air shocks, these things are garbage. Get yourself some new shocks without spending $800 or $1,500. I got new shocks for $170. I'm going to show you what I did. All right, I'm about to swap out these 12-inch shocks for the 2022 shocks. I'm hoping that they fit. I'm not positive. But as I go to take off the bolts, I realize that the reason this bike sits so low is not just the 12-inch shocks, but he's got one of these lowering things on here. And uh, I guess there's a couple of different holes you could make it even lower or bring it up a bit. But I don't know if that's going to cause a problem. I'm going to get this bolt off. There's another bolt on the inside. So it's going to be more trouble than I thought it would be. I got the bike right now jacked up so there's no weight on the rear wheel. All right, I finally broke it loose. And as luck would have it, I put an adjustable wrench here and... As I was turning this wrench, this gets caught right here, which helped me because it stopped that inside bolt from turning. This bolt, by the way, is a 13 sixteenths. This is a 7 16th, and they were in there tighter than a clam's ass. So, now I see that how they put this little lowering thing on here is there was a, another bolt here, which I just took out, but this is the, the actual bolt where the shock absorber should go, so you gotta take this bolt out as well. And this is what lowers the motorcycle. It's uh, whenever you do that, of course, with these 12 inch shocks, you only got two inches of travel. And then you put it on this odd angle and the bike really rides hard. It does lower it, but I don't need that. Don't want it. Now I'll see if the shock is gonna fit on here. Good. Looks like it's got to go way up. Way, way up. I'm going to measure this from eye hole to eye hole and see what we got. We got uh, about 11, 11 inches. So I'm going to jack it up a little bit now and see if it, it comes up without dis first disconnecting the opposite side. Probably not because nothing ever goes easy. All right, I got the tire off the ground now. And we're, we're still at 11, so I had a feeling this wasn't going to work. I'm going to have to disconnect the other side prior to attempting to put this shock on. All right, I'm getting it off the other side, but I, I can tell you this, this bolt was not tight at all, which is not a good thing. And I learned a lesson from the other side. I'm going to get this off before I take this off, because I'll have a lot more leverage. All right, just like the other side, this is on extremely tight. And of course, it's a knuckle buster. But it's coming off. If this is all the bleeding I do, I consider myself lucky. All right, just as I suspected, once I got this loose, from the lowering kit here, it just dropped down. But that's okay, no harm done. All right, let's see if this is my lucky day. Pretty close. 
I think if I put this top one in, make sure the bolt fits through, snug it up. And we'll see what happens. All right, so what I did was I took out the top one because it's easier to work on the top than on the bottom. I made sure the bottom one threads in, it does. And now I can see it's just ever so slightly low. So I'm gonna snug this one up just a bit. Make sure there's plenty of threads catching on there. Too high. Learning from my mistake, I'm putting the bottom one on first. And it's got to go up. Still hoping this is going to fit because, of course, the other shocks didn't have the adjuster on it. So it's got to go up and in. Should be fairly easy. No. All right. Uh, I had a dilemma. Couldn't get both sides lined up. So I'm using a little bit of a lever. And that did get the thread in there. Okay, I've run into another problem. This is right up against, looks like the, the bottom of the, the frame or the fender here. I can't tell what that is, but I cannot turn this dial. And if this is resting on this, it's going to screw up this shock. So I had loosened this all the way up to try to get it in. So now I'm gonna do the opposite and see if I can get it up further because there seems to be a little bit more room here. So I'll try that. Well, okay, what I did was I took this back out. I wound this all the way up for it to, to its highest position. In other words, for the most amount of weight on the motorcycle. And it's now clearing the bottom of the fender. And I was able to get this bolt on. Whether or not this is going to give me a, a hardtail type ride, I don't know. But I'm going to use it for a training bike. So I need all the lean angle I can get versus a soft ride. So if you're wondering, will this, is it a direct fit from, uh, I guess, pre-2014 or 2015 when they came out with these shocks? Is it a direct fit to the older models? Uh, not really. Yeah, I guess I could get a, a grinder and grind this metal piece down or bend it up. But first, I'm going to see how it works. I have this now jacked up to the highest setting. There's about, uh, oh, a half inch between this adjuster here and this metal piece that goes under here. So uh, I bounced the bike up and down, seemed to be fine. Paid 170 bucks for these used new from Harley, they're 550. And if you got the uh, like progressive, I think 412s, it's probably $350. So these are at least as good as the progressive 412s, but this could be a problem. So we're gonna take it for a ride and see what happens. All right, so the test ride went very well, went over some big bumps, no problem at all. It rides like a stock bike should. Now I'm going to change the oil, I'm going to drain that fuel tank. The, the gas is almost full, it's like three quarters of a tank has been sitting in the bike for two or three years. And like I said, it starts up fine occasionally when you go to start it, it'll backfire, but I'm going to drain that gas out. He had stabilizer, and I don't know how long stabilizer lasts, but the bike will run, but I'm going to drain it all out. <laughs> 